hello everyone so today we are going to simulate a single phase h bridge inverter with the help of sin pwm that is also known as, known as spwm all right so let's first of all uh, get the blocks uh, that are required to build this simulation so first of all we need mosfets then we need DC voltage then we will be needed with some relational operators a triangular generator and then a sine wave generator then a voltage measurement block a scope and then some logic gates in the form of NOT gate so let's convert it to NOT alright so a power GUI alright so let's arrange the switches to make the H bridge uh, topology the voltage is 100 volt by default so let me connect the circuit all right so in this way we have connected the circuit we need the load to test the simulation that is RLC so let's just use the resistive load with the value of 10 ohms and connect it at the output of the inverter H bridge then we have a voltage measurement to measure the voltage then a scope and obviously we can change in the parameters of the scope and axis colors let's uh, change the width as well line width all right so we have changed the parameters of the scope now change the relational operator to greater than and this frequency of the carrier is uh, chosen to be 1 kilohertz and the frequency of the sine wave is 2 pi times 50 means it is 50 hertz with zero phase all right so just make another copy of this and just invert this signal with a phase of pi radian or 180 degrees okay so now we need two relational operators like this so in this way we are going to generate gate pulses so here we go and then its inverted version will go to the complementary switch then we have the second leg and its complementary version will go to the bottom switch all right so now let's let's test this uh, simulation and let's see this is the default time that is 200 milliseconds uh, for uh, almost 10 cycles of the output okay so let's check the output so here you go so this is the output in the form of unipolar right so why it is known as unipolar because uh, the output is changing from positive to zero and then goes to negative it is not directly changing from plus 100 to minus 100 but that is the case for the bipolar pwm right so for now we have implemented uh, unipolar PWM 
and uh, let's uh, change this to 100 to uh, zoom in the waveform and get the output for, for 5 cycles and here we go and here you can see that this is sinusoidally varying so the, the PWM or the duty of the output is sinusoidally varying right so here you can see that the duty cycle is minimum and then it is increasing here we have peak of the sine wave so if we want to compare it with the sine let's plot the sine voltage as well at sorry not uh, using the axis and we can use the mux to compare this with the sine wave so just like that okay now let's try to compare it with the sine wave all right so let's run the simulation um, but the amplitude is one for the sign let me make a gain of 100 to compare to, to be able to compare with the sine wave so here we have the gain of 100 so now I can compare it let's check so here you can see the pink waveform so let me change the color to black to see it more easily okay so here we go so this is how the sine PWM is implemented but this sine PWM is actually unipolar right so we can uh, implement the bipolar PWM as well so for that we just need one sine wave and one triangular generator we don't need the other one that uh, this part right so we can delete it and then we, what we can do we can apply the same PWM to the cross switches and apply the inverted version to the other crossed switches and now let's plot it again and check the result so in this case we again have the sine PWM but in this case we have the bipolar sine PWM right means the output is directly changing from positive 100 to negative 100 without going to zero so there is no zero level in this case and that's why it is known as bipolar PWM and here again you can see that where the amplitude is maximum we have the maximum duty cycle of the output and similarly where sine wave is having negative peak we have the minimum duty cycle at that point right so this is how we implement sine pwm uh, using unipolar and bipolar method so i hope uh, you understand uh, each and everything of this uh, simulation very well so thank you very much